Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I make my breakfast every day. I figured this would be like a quick little video. I'm trying to do more YouTube videos, but I seem to be not really on top of it right now. Um, so my breakfast starts out with oatmeal and then I make myself some mushroom coffee and then I also have a protein drink as well, which I drink usually while I'm going th for a walk. Um, so starting out, we got our pot, and then I grab my coconut oil, which is right over here, coconut oil, and then I usually do, let's see, half a tablespoon of it, and I scoop it and I put it into there, just to like lubricate the, the pot, so that way if I burn my oatmeal, which sometimes happens, because I walk away and then get distracted, um, at least I know it's not going to get permanently stuck to my pot. <laughs> so we're going to turn the stove on. And I start getting that coconut oil melted in there. And then for my oatmeal today, I got a little packet. It's cinnamon spice. I usually add strawberries into my oatmeal. And then I also add Greek yogurt. So here's my Greek yogurt. I'm going to do a scoop of that. I'm going to do half a cup. I usually do half a cup because Greek yogurt is great for you. There we go. Half a cup of Greek yogurt. And then I grab my strawberries. And now I'm gonna take my scissors because I'm weird and I cut my strawberries like this over the pot and while that gets all comfy in there I'm make sure it melts properly too um, I also put a half a cup milk into it you can do coconut milk or you can also do regular milk. I usually just do regular milk because I'm fine with regular milk and I already got Greek yogurt in there and I already got coconut oil in there. So here is my half a cup of milk. milk in I can dump my packet of oatmeal in good old hearty breakfast there we go and now I'm gonna take my massive strawberry look at the size of this thing it's huge um, and I'm gonna start chopping it up I'm probably only gonna need like one maybe two strawberries because of the fact that they're so large Also, to give an update on the boat situation, I have talked to a marina. They're able to, like, train me in how to, like, sail it. Um, and the subscription for the one that's nearby me is, like, $3.99 a month. So, I'm trying to figure out if I can do that this year or if I need to wait till next year. Which... I really don't want to have to wait till next year, but my finances may say otherwise. So, other things that I'm working on doing is educating myself on how to read the weather, and also maybe a radio license, and a couple other things. So, I'm just trying to figure out what's going to work best. For like while I'm waiting to actually get out on the water and learn how to navigate and drive a boat to begin with so it's a slow process for sure it's gonna take a little while to get there but currently I'm just working on like building up my body so I'm like fit and ready and able to like maintain the boat itself and then I also want to be able to do my own repairs, so I'm looking into, like, electrical and, like, 
plumbing as well to try to like educate myself on basic stuff that I would need to know for like just the boat. So that's fun. And let's see. I'm also doing some yoga training currently and the spiritual practices are really like really changing my life like I have ex I'm starting to accept myself more than I ever have in my whole entire life and I'm watching like things that I used to like be defined as just kind of like starting to fall away and not really be me anymore which is really interesting because I that was like my whole existence and now I'm like 100% a different person so it's like whoa <laughs> So that's interesting, and I'll talk about that more on my podcast, so if you wanted to go subscribe to The Walking Podcast, I've been doing some good stuff there. I'm still working through all my past traumas on there, but, like, each video that I post about, like, my past traumas, I'm, like, full video, audio, I, I post about, um, my past traumas, I'm able to, like, move on from that, so... You guys don't necessarily have to listen to it, but it's also, like, super healing for me to be able to just, like, get that out in the open and, like, have it not be internalized anymore, because I'm like, oh, this is who I am, this is defining me and stuff, so I'm now, like, able to just be like, oh, well, that's not me, so it's whatever, and I'm just gonna go grab a spoon real quick. And so, now I have this new me that's starting to show themselves, and I've come out as a trans man, and coming to terms with that and trying to accept myself as that being who I am was really hard at first, because I was like, am I actually a trans man? And does this actually suit who I am? Does this make sense? And so... It took me a bit to actually be like, okay, yeah, this is who I am. And, like, it was really hard for me to accept myself at first because I was like, I knew this was who I was, but I didn't want to be who I was. And I, that was, really like, a really hard thing to admit to myself. Like, I didn't want to be a trans man. Like, I know it's going to disappoint my dad. I know it's going to disappoint my grandma. Like, it's really hard to, like, kind of have to admit this to yourself and then start trying to become comfortable with it and like be able to say to other people this is who I am and unfortunately if you don't like it then oh well because now I have to accept myself for who I am and the fact that you're gonna make it hard for me to try to accept myself for who I am it's really hard because like knowing that I don't have the support is difficult because now I have to be my own support and make myself comfortable with this thing that I'm not comfortable with. And now I have to kind of live by it and be like, yeah, so this is me, guys. This is how things are going. And so the realization of, like, that came probably about, like, a year ago. And it was just before the new year, and I told my ex this, and, like, she was super supportive at first, and, like, her family, right off the bat, everybody was already calling me sh him, her, him instead of her, and so, it was a little bit too fast for me, because I was like, whoa, 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 all right, that's not, I don't think I'm quite ready for the pronoun stuff yet, and, like, everyone admitting to me that I'm a man, and so, like, I backtracked, and so I was like, no, I'm still non-binary, and so, my ex and I broke up, and then my mom passed away so then I was like dealing with all this mental trauma and so I was kind of disassociated for a couple months and that really it sucked but then the new year came around and then I started being like all right let's get our act together because like this is ridiculous we're walking around being all like not really here and then my birth month came around and I knew it was going to be hardest for me because my mom birthday and my birthday were in the same month and we were nine days apart so I was like you know what I'm just gonna quit my job I'm gonna focus completely on my mental health 
And that was a huge life turner. Like, I've started actually caring about myself a lot more. And it was really nice to actually have that turn. And I started doing therapy and talking about it with my therapist. And now I've been able to come to terms with being a trans man and, like, admit it. And then I was able to come out to my family, which my dad and my grandma say that they support me. But then they also kind of, like, shoot out these little, like, non-supportive daggers occasionally. So if you want to hear about that, I'm going to be talking about it on my podcast. But... Um, at the moment I'm still kind of like digesting it and letting it go because it's kind of like really irked me the way they've kind of like said and done things, which really sucks, but it is what it is. They are who they are and I can't change who they are. So I'm just going to like live, learn and let it go because that's the best I can do for myself because holding on to it ain't going to do me nothing. So the best I'm trying to do right now is, like, strengthen my body, strengthen who I am, kind of build up more muscle and stuff. Like, I've lived my whole life being, like, below 90 pounds and, like, super skinny. Like, I was strong, though. I was able to, like, lift 40 pounds, no problem. But now that I've, like, worked on building my muscle mass more, I'm, like, able to lift 80 pounds and a bit more. And I finally made it to, like, 95 pounds. So... This is my first video that I'm going to be doing for, like, here's my body, this is me, this is kind of, like, what I'm doing to, like, get myself to where I want to be. So, I have oatmeal every day, and I put lots of good stuff into it, and my oatmeal is bomb as fuck, so, like, yeah. And I'm also a great cook, so I'm going to be also posting some, like, foodie videos and stuff, which I've found that... If I film a video, unfortunately, on my camera, that's really nice, I don't post it. <laughs> it just sits there on my fo- on my camera, and I never get it over to my laptop to edit it and then put it onto YouTube. But if I film it on my phone, then I'm going to actually post it. So, as long as I'm filming it on my phone, you guys will see my videos. If I'm filming it on my camera, you may never see it because I was trying to do a review on like some products because I'm a cosmetologist as well and it never made it to my laptop it's still on my camera over there and I'm just sitting here like I've had all the time in the world all week and my phone got broken and I'm just like nope not working on it all right so I'm gonna turn to my kettle now because my food's about halfway done and I'm going to need to go grab a mug and make sure I get my coffee all situated. And then this is my protein drink I have. It has 30 grams in, of protein in it, which is super great if you're trying to build up some muscle, which is what your boy is trying to do. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab a mug. Mickey mug, which is really fucking cute. Like, look at the shape of this. This is so cute. Love this. And then, uh, another thing that I do every day, I take, like, vitamins to also help build up muscle and keep my bones strong and whatnot. So, I do a horse pill, basically, (laughs) of calcium. This boy is huge. Look at him. He's huge. And then, I got turmeric. And I got zinc, and then I got magnesium, I got biotin for my hair, and then I also got milk thistle, and that's what I take every day to, like, just keep my body, like, going, make sure I, like, because of all the working out stuff that I do, I could experience a lot of pain, but I don't because of the fact that I'm taking all this, like, extra stuff for my muscles and my bones and my health and all that, so that's good. Alright, it's almost done. 
and also I'm going to do a slight little review on the mushroom coffee I have. I got Rise. Rise. I'm sure people have seen it on TikTok. It is on TikTok. It's advertised on there a lot. It's got six different mushrooms in it. So it's got the... I'm not even going to try to say half of these. But I can say Lion's Mane and Shiitake, Turkey Tail, King Trump, and then some weird one that starts with C. I can't pronounce that. And then Rishi? Rishi? I, I don't know. I, I can't pronounce things, so. Yeah. But yeah, Rise. It's really good. And then I usually turn it into a latte because if you just put some milk in it, it turns into a latte. Which is really good. It does taste like a latte. It's super yummy. And the only downside about it is, well, it has caffeine in it. I'm not really a caffeine person, so I didn't realize there was caffeine in it. I mean, duh, it's coffee, so yeah. <laughs> I was like hoping to get something that would call itself coffee, but not have caffeine in it. But it has caffeine in it. Which is fine. It's great for helping depression. Great, Like, caffeine's good for coping with that. And I mean, it works great. I just don't need, like, caffeine addiction. That's the only thing that I'm like, well, maybe not. But there's other ways I can take it. My dad suggested um, a mushroom, like, supplement pill. <clears throat> that I could take instead, which would be totally fine, because then I could just have this as my drink instead of having coffee. So, I was like thinking at first, I'm like, but I like having the coffee. And I'm like, mm, maybe I'm fine without it because of the fact that I can just, I can just have my protein drink instead. All right, this guy is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go grab a bowl now. up my mess so it's not all in the way. Alright, and then the other thing that I do is I put cream into the coffee that I have as well. So normally I would probably put it in my oatmeal but since I have a coffee, I might as well just put the powders all in one. Yes, it is a powder. It's also kind of weird of a powder. Like, you scoop it out, and it feels like it has, like, this kind of weird static thing going on with it. So it starts, like, jumping and, like, sticking to things, which I find is, like, kind of funny, but also weird. Um, so, yeah. And they do send you, like, a little scoopy dude. See, it's, it's starting to do the weird jumpy thing little scoopy thing. It just jumps on too, again. <laughs> and then one scoop of that. Screw it back on and leave it till tomorrow. And then rise. Yep. And we do one scoop of this guy. I did two scoops one day just to see what that was like. It was fine, it was the same, but they suggest you only do one. So like, yeah, one scoop of that. And they also, like, send you this free little spoon, which I fucking love this spoon. It's so great. It's so cute. Um. And so, yeah. It's all in there. And then I'll be drinking that. And my oatmeal sounds like it's done. I'm just waiting for that guy to finish boiling. And then we got our good, a good scrumptious breakfast. Wholeheartedly happy and good to go. I didn't burn my oatmeal today. You guys should be proud of me. I mean, I was standing in front of the stove the whole time, so yeah. Uh, there we go. Um, I'll probably do another video of me doing the same breakfast again, just because, like, I didn't have everything right here. And me walking away, like, 15 billion times is kind of weird in, like, a video. Like, you're supposed to just kind of be here and have everything ready. Um, my kettle is good and done. Let me 
turn my stove off for myself. And so, there we go. Breakfast. My drink. And that. And then my vitamins. Got all the stuff. <laughs> all right. And I'm going to bring it over to my breakfast table. All done. Go eat.